if you're seeing this, know that the universe has guided you to this moment for a reason. You are here because you are ready to embrace the magnificent potential that lies within you. Today, I want to share with you a profound truth that has the power to transform your life in ways you never imagined possible. In my book, You Can Heal Your Life, I wrote, you have the power to heal your life and you need to know that. These words hold the key to unlocking the limitless potential that resides within you. You have the power to create the life of your dreams, to manifest your deepest desires, and to live in a state of joy, abundance, and fulfillment. Affirmations are like little seeds you plant in your mind. They're positive statements that you say to yourself every day to help you believe in yourself and create the life you want. When you repeat affirmations, you're telling your subconscious mind what you want to be true, and over time, your mind starts to believe it. For example, let's say you want to feel more confident. You might repeat affirmations like, I am confident and capable, or I believe in myself and my abilities. By saying these words over and over again, you start to reprogram your mind to see yourself as confident, and eventually, you start to feel that way too. Or maybe you want to attract more love into your life. You could try affirmations like, I am worthy of love and deserving of happiness, or I am surrounded by love and kindness. As you repeat these affirmations, you begin to shift your energy and open yourself up to receiving love from others. The key to making affirmations work is to say them with conviction and belief. It's not enough to just recite the words. You have to really feel them in your heart. Imagine what it would be like to already have what you're affirming and let yourself feel the emotions that come with it. You can say affirmations anytime, anywhere, but it's especially powerful to say them first thing in the morning or right before bed. This is when your mind is most receptive to suggestion, so the affirmations sink in more deeply. It's also helpful to write down your affirmations and put them somewhere you'll see them every day, like on your bathroom mirror or on a sticky note on your desk. This way, you're constantly reminding yourself of your goals and reinforcing the positive beliefs you want to cultivate. Meditation is like tacking a break for your mind. It's a special time when you can sit quietly and listen to your inner voice. When you meditate, you give yourself a chance to relax and let go of all the busy thoughts swirling around in your head. It's like pressing the pause button on a hectic day and finding a calm, peaceful space within yourself. During meditation, you focus on your breath or a calming mantra. You let go of worries about the past or the future and simply be present in the moment. As you quiet your mind, you create space to connect with your inner wisdom and guidance. Your inner voice is like a wise friend who knows you better than anyone else. It's always there, waiting patiently to offer you insight, clarity, and inspiration. But in the hustle and bustle of everyday life, it can be hard to hear your inner voice above the noise of the world. That's where meditation comes in. When you meditate, you create a quiet, sacred space where you can tune into your inner voice and listen to what it has to say. You may receive guidance about a problem you're facing, insight into a decision you need to make, or inspiration for manifesting your desires. But meditation isn't just about receiving guidance. It's also about cultivating a sense of inner peace and well-being. When you meditate regularly, you'll notice that you feel calmer, more centered, and more grounded in yourself. You'll be better able to handle the ups and downs of life with grace and equanimity. There are many different ways to meditate, so don't worry if you're not sure where to start. You can try sitting quietly and focusing on your breath, or you can listen to guided meditations that lead you through a relaxing visualization. You can even meditate while walking in nature or doing gentle yoga. Self-love is like planting seeds in a garden. 
When you love and accept yourself just as you are, you create fertile soil for your dreams to grow. It's like opening a door to the universe and inviting in all the blessings that await you. But how do you cultivate self-love? It starts with simple acts of kindness and compassion towards yourself. Take a moment each day to pamper yourself, whether it's taking a relaxing bath, going for a walk in nature, or curling up with a good book. Treat yourself like you would treat a dear friend, with love, care, and understanding. Remember, you deserve to be treated with kindness and respect, especially by yourself. One powerful way to nurture self-love is through affirmations. Affirmations are like love letters to yourself, reminding you of your worth and value. Look in the mirror each day and repeat the words, I love and accept myself exactly as I am. It may feel awkward at first, but with practice, it will become second nature. As you speak these words, notice how you feel in your body. Notice any resistance or discomfort that arises and gently let it go. Remind yourself that you are worthy of love and acceptance, just as you are. You don't need to change or be anything other than yourself to deserve love. Affirmations are like planting seeds of self-love in your subconscious mind. The more you repeat them, the more they take root and grow. Over time, you'll begin to notice shifts in your thoughts and feelings about yourself. You'll start to see yourself in a more positive light with greater compassion and understanding. Journaling is like having a secret friend where you can pour out your heart and soul without fear of judgment. It's a powerful tool that can help turn your dreams into reality. When you write down your desires, it's like sending a letter to the universe telling it exactly what you want. But here's the secret. Write as if your dreams have already come true. Imagine yourself living in your dream house, driving your dream car, or traveling to exotic destinations. Feel the joy, the excitement, the gratitude as if it's happening right now. As you pour your dreams onto paper, something magical happens. You begin to align your thoughts and emotions with your desires. You start to believe that what you want is not just a far-off fantasy, but a tangible reality waiting to manifest. And as you express gratitude for all the blessings in your life, you create an energetic vibration that attracts even more blessings to you. Journaling is not just about writing, it's about creating a sacred space for manifestation. Find a quiet corner where you can be alone with your thoughts and dreams. Light a candle, play soft music, and let your imagination run wild. Write down every detail of your dream life, from the sights and sounds to the feelings and emotions. But don't stop there. Take it a step further and visualize yourself living your dream life. Close your eyes and imagine every aspect of your desires coming to fruition. See yourself waking up in your dream house, sipping coffee on your dream balcony, or walking hand in hand with your soulmate on a tropical beach. Feel the warmth of the sun on your skin, the breeze in your hair, the love in your heart. You are the creator of your reality. You have the power to manifest anything you desire. Trust in the process, believe in yourself, and know that the universe is always conspiring in your favor. If you're seeing this, know that you are next in line for miracles, blessings, and abundance beyond your wildest dreams. I told you that you hold the key to breaking free from this cycle. You see, my dear ones, Abundance is not just about material wealth. It's about experiencing life in its fullest expression, joy, love, health, and yes, financial prosperity too. And the key to unlocking this abundance lies within your understanding of a simple truth. The truth is, you cannot stay poor if you understand the power of your thoughts and beliefs. Let me explain. Every thought we think, every belief we hold, shapes our reality. 
If you constantly dwell on thoughts of lack and scarcity, guess what you'll attract into your life? More lack and scarcity. Now let me tell you where the real magic comes in. When you start changing what you think and believe to thoughts of abundance and prosperity, something incredible begins to unfold. You see, it's like you're connecting with the endless riches of the universe. This is what I've been teaching all along. The incredible power of affirmations and positive self-talk. Think about it this way. When you constantly tell yourself positive things, like I am abundant or I deserve success, you're sending out signals to the universe. And you know what? The universe listens. It starts sending back all sorts of good stuff your way. It's like you're tuning your mind to a channel that's filled with nothing but good things. And the more you tune in, the more good stuff comes flooding into your life. It's truly remarkable how it works. You start to notice opportunities popping up left and right. Maybe it's a new job offer or a chance to start your own business. Whatever it is, it's something that brings more abundance into your life. And it's not just about material wealth either. You start to feel richer in every way, mentally, emotionally, spiritually. You feel more grateful for the things you have and you start to see beauty and abundance everywhere you look. In my books and teachings, I often speak about the importance of affirmations. Affirmations are like seeds planted in the fertile soil of your mind. As you repeat them daily, you nourish these seeds, allowing them to grow and blossom into your reality. Now let's talk about affirmations. They're a great start, but there's more to it than just repeating positive words. To really grasp this important truth, you need to dig deeper and let go of any beliefs that are holding you back. You see, many of us have grown up with ideas about money and wealth that aren't helpful. Maybe you were taught that money is scarce and hard to come by, or that only certain people deserve to be wealthy. These beliefs can stick with us, even into adulthood, and they can hold us back from achieving our dreams. But here's the thing, those beliefs aren't serving you. In fact, they're keeping you from living the life you truly want. So it's time to let them go. Start by examining your beliefs about money and wealth. Are they helping you or holding you back? If they're holding you back, it's time to release them. One way to do this is through affirmations. Instead of repeating negative beliefs like, I'll never be wealthy or money is always a struggle, replace them with positive affirmations like, I am worthy of abundance or money flows to me effortlessly. But affirmations alone won't do the trick. You also need to do some inner work to uncover and release any deep-seated beliefs that are holding you back. This might involve journaling, therapy, or simply taking some time to reflect on your beliefs and where they come from. Once you've identified them, it's time to release them. One way to do this is through visualization. Picture yourself letting go of these limiting beliefs, like releasing a balloon into the sky. Watch as they float away, leaving you feeling lighter and freer. Maybe when you were growing up, you heard people say things like, money doesn't grow on trees, or you have to work really hard to make ends meet. Or maybe you were told that being wealthy is only for a lucky few, and you weren't one of them. But let me tell you something important. Those beliefs just aren't true. You see, the universe is vast and abundant, and there's more than enough to go around for everyone. That includes you too. You are deserving of all the good things life has to offer simply because you exist. You don't have to prove yourself or earn your worthiness. You are worthy just as you are, right here, right now. Think about it. This way. When you look up at the sky at night, do you see the stars hoarding their light or the trees guarding their leaves? Of course not. They shine and grow freely, sharing their abundance with the world. 
So, my dear ones, I urge you to release these old, limiting beliefs and embrace new ones that empower you. Replace thoughts of scarcity with thoughts of abundance. Replace feelings of unworthiness with feelings of deservingness. When you decide to change the way you think and what you believe, something amazing starts to happen in your life. Suddenly, you notice a big difference. You start seeing chances popping up everywhere. Doors that were shut tight begin to swing open, inviting you to step through them. And guess what? Good things start coming your way in abundance in ways you never even imagined. Imagine this. You used to think, I'll never get that job, or I'll never be able to afford that dream vacation. But now you're saying to yourself, I deserve the best and I can make it happen. And you know what? You start seeing job opportunities that you never noticed before. Maybe it's a job posting that's just perfect for you, or maybe it's a friend who knows someone who's hiring. Either way, it's an opportunity you never expected. And those closed doors, they're opening wide now. Maybe it's the door to a new friendship or the door to a new adventure. Whatever it is, you're stepping through with confidence, knowing that good things await you on the other side. Now, let me tell you something truly exiting. Abundance starts pouring into your life in ways you've never seen before. It's like a river of good things flowing your way, bringing with it all sorts of blessings. Picture this. Maybe you're going about your day, and suddenly you receive an unexpected gift. It could be a financial windfall, like a bonus at work, or a tax refund you weren't expecting. Or maybe it's something less tangible, but just as valuable, like a feeling of peace and contentment that fills your heart. You start to realize that the universe is full of possibilities, just waiting for you to claim them. And as you continue to shift your thoughts and beliefs, those possibilities become realities. You start living a life that's richer and fuller than you ever thought possible. But how do you make this shift happen? It starts with awareness, paying attention to the thoughts you're thinking and the beliefs you're holding on to. Are they helping you or holding you back? If they're holding you back, it's time to let them go. You are the creator of your own reality. You have the power to manifest abundance and prosperity into your life. It all starts with understanding this simple truth. So go forth and embrace the abundance that is your birthright. You can't stay poor if you understand this truth. And remember, I am here to support you every step of the way. Whether it's the hustle and bustle of the city streets or the tensions we experience in our daily lives, our clothes are like silent observers, soaking up all the energy around us. It's kind of like when you dip a sponge into water, it soaks up all the wetness around it. Well, our clothes do the same thing, but instead of water, they soak up the energy. So when you're walking through the busy streets of the city, all that hustle and bustle, the honking horns, the rushing people, the loud noises, it's like a big energy soup, and your clothes are right there in the middle of it, soaking it all up. And when you're dealing with the tensions and stresses of everyday life, the arguments, the deadlines, the worries, it's like your clothes are right there with you, absorbing all that negative energy like a sponge. Now, you might be thinking, well, that doesn't sound very good. I don't want my clothes soaking up all that negative energy. And you're right, it's not ideal. Because just like a sponge can get all soggy and gross if it's filled with too much water, our clothes can start to feel heavy and yucky if they're filled with too much negative energy. But here's the thing, our clothes don't just soak up the bad stuff, they also soak up the good stuff. So, if you're walking through the city streets on a beautiful sunny day, feeling happy and grateful, your clothes are right there with you soaking up all that positive energy like a sponge. It's kind of like having a little energy buddy with you wherever you go. Your clothes are there to support you and keep you company, but they also have their own job to do. They're there to soak up all the energy, both good and bad, and hold on to it until you're ready to let it go. Now, you might be wondering, what does this mean for me? 
Well, my dear friend, it means that if we're not mindful of the energy we carry and the energy we allow into our space, our clothes can become carriers of negative energy, attracting unwanted luck into our lives. So what can we do about it? How can we ensure that our clothes remain vessels of positivity and light? It's quite simple, really. Just as we cleanse our bodies and our homes, we must also cleanse our clothes. One powerful way to cleanse your clothes of negative energy is through the practice of intention setting and affirmation. This means deciding what you want and saying positive things to make it happen. Before putting on a garment, take a moment to infuse it with love and positivity. Imagine you're giving your clothes a big hug and filling them up with good vibes. You can do this by holding the garment close to your heart and repeating affirmations, which are like little pep talks for yourself. Affirmations are positive statements that you say to yourself to help you feel good. They're like little reminders of how awesome you are and what you want to bring into your life. You can think of them as little seeds that you plant in your mind, which grow into beautiful flowers of positivity. So, when you're holding your clothes, you can say things like, I am surrounded by love and light. Only positive energy resides within me and my clothes. Saying affirmations is like casting a magic spell of positivity over your clothes. You're declaring to the universe that you only want good things around you. And the cool thing is, the more you say these positive affirmations, the more you start to believe them. It's like training your brain to focus on the good stuff instead of the not so good stuff. When you're setting intentions for your clothes, you're basically telling them what you want them to do for you. It's like giving them a job to do. So when you're holding your clothes and saying your affirmations, you can also think about what you want them to help you with. Maybe you want them to make you feel confident and happy, or maybe you want them to attract abundance and success into your life. By consciously infusing your clothes with love and positivity, you create a protective barrier that repels negative energy and invites abundance and good fortune into your life. Another powerful technique for cleansing your clothes is through the use of sacred herbs and crystals. Sage, for example, has been used for centuries to purify spaces and objects, including clothing. Sage is like a magical plant that helps make things better. You can get sage in a bundle, like a little bunch of sticks tied together. To use it, you light the end of the bundle until it starts to smolder and let the smoke fill the air around you and your clothes. It smells really nice too, like a cozy campfire. When you smudge your clothes with sage smoke, it's like giving them a little energy bath. You can think of it as a special cleaning process for your clothes energy. As you move the smoldering sage bundle around your clothes, you can imagine any bad vibes or negative feelings floating away with the smoke. It's like saying goodbye to all the yucky stuff that might be clinging to your clothes and making you feel less than your best. Visualizing means picturing something in your mind. So when you're smudging your clothes with sage, you can close your eyes and imagine all the negative energy disappearing. You might picture it as dark clouds or heavy fog lifting away, leaving your clothes and your energy feeling light and fresh. It's like hitting the reset button on your day, giving yourself a clean slate to start anew. The idea behind smudging with sage is to clear away any energy that's not serving you. Sometimes, without even realizing it, we pick up on other people's feelings or the vibes from places we've been. It's like when you walk into a room and you can just feel that something's off. Smudging with sage helps to clear out that stale energy and make room for positivity and good vibes to flow freely. It's a simple yet powerful practice that you can incorporate into your daily routine. Whether you're getting ready for work in the morning or winding down for bed at night, taking a few moments to smudge your clothes with sage can make a big difference in how you feel. 
you might notice that you feel lighter, more grounded, and more at peace after smudging. And sage isn't the only herb you can use for cleansing your clothes. There are other herbs like lavender, rosemary, and cedar that also have cleansing properties. You can experiment with different herbs and find what works best for you. Just like sage, you can burn these herbs to create cleansing smoke or use them in other forms like essential oils or sachets. Crystals, such as clear quartz and amethyst, are also wonderful allies in the quest for energetic purification. You can place these crystals in your wardrobe or adorn your clothes with them, allowing their radiant energy to cleanse and protect your garments. You are the creator of your reality. You have the power to infuse every aspect of your life, including your clothes, with love, light, and positivity. By doing so, you can ward off negative energy and invite blessings beyond your wildest dreams. So, the next time you reach for your favorite garment, take a moment to pause and set your intention. Infuse it with love, cleanse it with sage, or adorn it with crystals. Trust in the power of your intention and watch as the universe responds with miracles and magic. During a time of great struggle in my own life, I was facing challenges in my health, relationships, and finances. But through the practice of affirmations and self-love, I was able to turn my life around completely. One of the key teachings that resonated deeply with me is the idea that we are worthy of all the good that life has to offer. This principle is at the core of my work and philosophy. You see, many of us have been conditioned to believe that we are unworthy or undeserving of love, abundance, and happiness. But the truth is that we are all deserving of these blessings simply by virtue of being alive. In my book, You Can Heal Your Life, I wrote about the power of self-love and self-acceptance. I shared practical tools and techniques to help readers cultivate a deep sense of love and appreciation for themselves. Because when we love ourselves unconditionally, we open ourselves up to receiving all the good that life has to offer. One of the most powerful affirmations that I love to use is, I am worthy of all the good that life has to offer. It's like a magic spell that I cast upon myself every day. When I say this affirmation, I'm telling myself that I deserve all the wonderful things that life has in store for me. Repeating this affirmation daily is like planting seeds of worthiness in my mind. It's a gentle reminder to myself that I am deserving of abundance, love, and happiness. And the more I repeat it, the more deeply I believe it. You see, when we affirm our worthiness, we're opening ourselves up to receiving abundance in all its forms. Instead of feeling like we have to beg or plead for the good things in life, we're telling the universe that we know we deserve them. It's like sending out a signal to the universe that says, I am ready to receive. And when the universe hears that signal, it responds by sending us exactly what we need. But affirming our worthiness isn't just about receiving material blessings like money or success. It's also about recognizing our inherent value as human beings. When we affirm our worthiness, we're acknowledging that we are worthy of love, respect, and happiness simply because we exist. Another powerful tool that can really make a difference in our lives is something I call mirror work. It might sound a bit strange at first, but bear with me. Mirror work is when we stand in front of a mirror and talk to ourselves in a kind and loving way. It's like having a conversation with our own reflection. When we do mirror work, we're not just looking at ourselves. We're actually speaking positive affirmations and words of love directly to ourselves. It might feel a bit awkward at first, but trust me, it's worth it. Mirror work is powerful because it helps to reprogram our subconscious mind. You see, our subconscious mind is like a recording device. It picks up on everything we say and think. 
even if we're not aware of it. So when we look into the mirror and say positive things to ourselves, it helps to overwrite any negative beliefs or thoughts that might be lurking in our subconscious. But mirror work is about more than just reprogramming our minds. It's also about cultivating a deep sense of self-love and acceptance. When we look into our own eyes and say things like, I love you or you are worthy, we're sending a powerful message to ourselves and to the universe. You see, the universe responds to the energy we put out. When we speak lovingly to ourselves, we're telling the universe that we are deserving of love and all the good things that life has to offer. And in return, the universe responds by sending more love and abundance our way. Mirror work is a simple practice, but it can have a profound impact on our lives. It helps us to build a stronger relationship with ourselves and to see ourselves in a more positive light. And when we love and accept ourselves, we're better able to love and accept others. Meditation is like taking a break for our minds. When we meditate, we sit quietly and focus on our breath or a peaceful thought. This helps us to calm our busy thoughts and feel more relaxed. It's like pressing a reset button for our minds. When we meditate, we also become more aware of the present moment. Instead of worrying about the past or the future, we focus on what's happening right now. This helps us to let go of stress and anxiety and feel more peaceful and content. But meditation isn't just about feeling relaxed. It's also a powerful tool for connecting with our inner wisdom. When we quiet our minds, we create space to listen to our intuition and inner guidance. This can help us to make better decisions and feel more confident in ourselves. Meditation also helps us to release limiting beliefs. These are the negative thoughts and beliefs that hold us back from reaching our full potential. When we meditate, we become more aware of these limiting beliefs and can let them go. This frees us up to embrace new opportunities and possibilities. One of the greatest benefits of meditation is its ability to help us tap into the abundance of the universe. When we quiet our minds and connect with our inner wisdom, we open ourselves up to the flow of abundance that surrounds us. Instead of feeling like we need to beg for things, we trust in the divine timing of the universe. We believe that everything we need will come to us when the time is right. Vision boards are like magic boards that help us make our dreams come true. They're a fun and creative way to turn our wishes into reality. When we create a vision board, we're basically making a collage of all the things we want to manifest in our lives. We can use pictures, words, and symbols to represent our desires and goals. For example, if we want to attract more money into our lives, we might put pictures of dollar bills or checks on our vision board. If we want to find love, we might include images of happy couples or hearts. But vision boards are about more than just sticking pretty pictures on a board. They're a powerful tool for manifestation. When we create a vision board, we're focusing our energy and attention on what we want to manifest. We're basically telling the universe, this is what I want. And when we look at our vision boards regularly, we're reinforcing our intentions and aligning ourselves with the energy of abundance. It's like we're programming our minds to attract the things we desire into our lives. But here's the really cool part. When we focus our energy and attention on our desires, we start to attract them into our lives. It's like the universe hears our wishes and starts to bring them to us. Suddenly, opportunities start to appear out of nowhere, and things start to fall into place. So, once you learn to love and accept yourself unconditionally, you'll never feel the need to beg for anything again. You'll understand that you are inherently worthy of all the good that life has to offer, and you'll open yourself up to receiving abundance in all its forms. Remember, you are a divine being, and you deserve to live a life of love, joy, and abundance.